with that, I'm just going to go ahead and, and let Jean turn her mic on and welcome her to the program. Jean. Right. Well, what I, I want to say, welcome to the West Fjords. It's West Fjords, all right. The West Fjords in Iceland, my little village is called Flattery. And I'll turn the camera around so that you can see the view outside of, well, it's outside of my, my house, my studio just around the corner. So just to give you, whoa, I'll just to give you an idea what it's like right about now. Yeah, and, and I don't know if everybody was able to hear everything you were saying, but you mentioned that you the, the building was going to be torn down. It hadn't been used for a long time. And yes. and so you were able to to obtain that. So did you say they gave it to you? Well, they actually they I paid a thousand dollars for it. Okay. So So they bad. were gonna tear it down and I I just said I couldn't I couldn't have that. So um Alan and I have been working on this thing to try and make it solid and dry. We tore walls down. Um, anyway, this is my little space. Anyway, sure. And this uh, painting was part of that exhibition as well. Uh, I'm uh -huh. going to stand uh -huh. up and kind of move a little closer to it, but talk to us a, a little bit about your process. You know, are you working from sketches? Or are you just kind of, uh, you know, creating it as you go along, and then a lot of the layering and things that are happening. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, I think what, what I do, what how I operate is I go out into nature and I just observe. Um, I can stand over a rock, um, I don't know, a mud puddle. Uh, I just pay attention and so I, I observe and I look and I feel, and then I come back into the studio, and then I just start. And I start with perhaps one, one section. Well, you all, I think about one section, and then it just kind of goes from, from there. And I love the drips and how the paint works. I use many thin layers. I have started to use um, graphite pencil in, in um, the oil painting. And that's all part of just showing the process. I love the drips, how the paint and the paint thinners do, you know, do what they do. So, yeah. Yeah, and if you look at, I mean, this sort of section here with all of this wonderful um, sort of blotchy texture, I mean, is there a specific way to get that? Or is that something you kind of work towards and just kind of develops as you're working? Well, I think it develops, you know, as you're, as you're working along. And one of the things that um, I do is with the very fine layers, I'll put a layer on and then, you know, you can spatter paint thinner on there and to watch what that does. I really don't have anything to do with it except I drop the thinner on the painting and the rest happens just it does what it does and so you know um i love that about it 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 i don't know it's kind of alive and these are all i've been walking on the beach the beach the rocks and you can see there's the pencil and then the ink And the Are dripping. you using uh, photograph references for these or is it just visual references from your walls? Okay, these I go and I look and I will have, you know, I might look at an image um, and then I put it away. And there's a little volcanic rock. 
And then the other day I was at a friend's um, out in the valley, up in another, um, over the mountain, and she gave me a fish, a dried fish tail. And it was just absolutely extraordinary. So that's what, that's where that came from. Thank you.